Hi, this is a video for all you guys that used to use the Native Instruments core system and now decided or maybe are thinking about deciding for the new complete uh, control system. What I will show you is that when you choose to for the complete control system, do not throw away your core system because the combination of the two is almost perfect. The complete control series has a major advantage over the core system because its browsing system is very good, especially now that you can do uh, the so-called hardware browsing where you can immediately select the filters and select the sound. However, the complete control series is also lacking a lot of the possibilities of the core system because you cannot do any layering or splitting or using effects in the complete control software. In order to do that you need a host and why not use your core system as a host for the complete control and this works very well. So what I did here is um, creating two instances of Native Instruments Complete Control <coughs> and I made a template where I can easily create splits or layers using the MIDI filter and MIDI transformer plugins. How does it work? Well, currently I have only the piano, the upper part uh, sounding and it will sound all over the keyboard. Um, if I want to combine it with the second instance of a native instrument, I have two instances running, the New York Grand and Massive, then I simply press this button and I have a layer. But I can also create a split by simply pressing this button. No, I will have the piano upper and the split lower create a transposed split by pressing this button and of course you can also lower the upper uh, uh, tuning by pressing this button. If I don't like the split point which is currently here the central C, then I can uh, use this knob to, to move the split up or downwards. So I will now move it up. So uh, now I have uh, the P and the F as the split point. Uh, let's say that I want to create a different uh, a split or layer. Uh, maybe, for instance, I do not want a, a piano, but I like a um, lead sound. So I can now uh, browse and I have to take care that I have the right instance because I have two instances. So first I select the New York Grand, that's the upper. And now I use the uh, browsing facility to go to, uh, let's say, a synth lead. And I can say, let's say that uh, we want to change the pet sound. Go to instance, select the pet, uh, the massive instance. And now I will say, let's say I want a pet sound. So I'm going to pet. Currently I have the aftertouch on uh, the uh, lower. Uh, sound and after sound both uh, giving it a vibrato and it might be that you want the vibrato only for the lead sound and not for the accompanying of sound at the lower part as is currently the case therefore I have this uh, button you simply turn it up and then will not uh, respond 
uh, in for the lower part, but will respond for the upper part. <laughs> The same goes for the pitch bends. <laughs> Setting it in the middle will uh, send it to both sides, but probably will only uh, have a pitch bend to the upper side, not for the lower side, so you can put the pitch bend to upper and not to lower. Then we have the modulation. By the way, I can also do it the other way around by turning the knobs to uh, the left. Then it will only work for the uh, lower side and in the middle it will work for both sides. The modulation wheel uh, currently is also working for both sides. <laughs> Maybe I want only the uh, modulation wheel for the lower side, so I can filter it with the, this knob for the upper side. Or the other way around. So this gives me a lot of control over the layering and splitting of the sounds. I already told you that the combination was almost perfect because I thought, well, I can take this a step further. Uh, of course, I can save my settings in the core system, but we know that browsing in the core system is not ideal. But the core system itself can also run as a plugin. So why not run the core system as a plugin in complete control? Then I can make my settings and save them in complete control and use the complete control browser to uh, select the sound or the layering or the split, whatever I like. And I can also save all combinations. So for instance, I've created here a piano and bass sound. I can even control it from the complete control. So I even do not need the core hardware anymore because now I have three instances. One for the giant, one for contact, but below the standalone core system. And as you can see here above, I can assign the knobs to control the core system. So again, I can uh, change the level of uh, the, the lower and the upper part. Uh, I can uh, change the split or the total volume. So uh, you can make multiple pages. I just made uh, one page now, but you can understand the possibilities of this system. So now I can browse my multi setups. However, this is not the case. Because although I can load the core system in the complete control software, there is one problem with that. It works fine, but I am not able to save it. When I want to save it, it's grayed out. Whatever plugin I uh, run in the Native Instruments control series, I can save the settings I like, but not when I use Core in the complete control. So unfortunately, this will not work. It's a bit of a disappointment, and that's why I said it's almost perfect. So what you still can do, use the uh, Core system as the plugin host and run complete control in it and you can save the settings in the core system but you will not be able to save those settings in complete control because of this limitation. Anyway, I still think that the combination of complete control and the uh, core system creates a very flexible system for on stage 
for a fast sound browsing, for fast layering and splitting, um, without having the need to use the computer mouse, you can do it all from the hardware. Thank you very much for your uh, attention.